Is cannibalism inherently evil, or is our revulsion towards it merely a product of societal norms? A shocking question indeed, but a fascinating one that delves into the core of human morality and societal constructs. To navigate this complex topic, it's crucial first to journey back through the annals of history. Ancient times were no stranger to cannibalism. From the prehistoric era, there's evidence of Neanderthals partaking in the act, possibly out of necessity during periods of starvation. Fast forward to the 16th and 17th centuries, tales of shipwrecked sailors resorting to cannibalism to survive are well documented in maritime lore. The infamous case of the sea vessel Essex, which inspired Herman Melville's Moby Dick, saw surviving crew members draw lots to decide who would be sacrificed for the other's survival. Our journey through time brings us to World War II, where instances of cannibalism were reported in the dire circumstances of concentration camps and besieged cities. Here the act was committed under the most extreme conditions, raising the question, does desperate survival justify such an act? Now, let's shift our focus to the modern era, where cannibalism takes a darker, criminal turn. Notorious figures such as Jeffrey Dahmer and Armin Maywes come to mind. Their heinous acts driven by twisted desires rather than necessity. These cases highlight the profound psychological implications of cannibalism, with both perpetrators and victims suffering immense psychological trauma. While these instances of cannibalism are undeniably abhorrent, they lead us to an intriguing ethical conundrum. What about consensual cannibalism? Is it still morally reprehensible if all parties involved give their consent? This question was brought to the fore in the controversial case of Armin Maywes, who found a willing victim in Bernd Jürgen Brandes. Without a doubt, the act of cannibalism, whether driven by survival or darker motivations, leaves a significant psychological imprint. It questions the sanctity of human life and the extent to which individuals can go to sustain their own. It also raises profound ethical dilemmas, blurring the lines between consent, personal freedom, and societal norms. In conclusion, the topic of cannibalism is more than a taboo, but a mirror reflecting our deepest fears and moral complexities. From historical survival-driven instances to modern-day criminal acts and ethical quandaries, it challenges our perceptions of morality, humanity, and societal norms. Remember, the goal here isn't to provide definitive answers, but to encourage thought and discussion on a topic that delves into the darkest corners of human behavior and psyche. It's a testament to the complexity of human nature and the fine line that separates survival from savagery.